I'm my mama's son, I'm a go-getter. Yeah. I treat the broke hoes like the broke niggas. I'm blocking all cars and I'm so serious. Niggas walk around, hands out like the glow sisters. I don't know niggas, heart like a cold blizzard. I go ape shit, no fake shit, nigga, go real Weird ass niggas, what the fuck we wrong with them? Phone don't never ring, how the fuck is you a dope dealer, huh? I say fuck them other niggas, we ball. I say fuck them other niggas, we ball. I say fuck them other niggas, we ball. Fuck we ball, fuck we ball. I say fuck them other niggas, we ball. I say fuck them other niggas, we ball. I say fuck them other niggas. I always had a feel for music like a, I used to be rapping at the lunch table in high school. We used to just freestyle. Uh to really get off into it like seriously. Uh I think it was Detroit. I moved I went to school in Detroit at Wayne State. And uh, you know Detroit is a big music town of their own. They got their own little Detroit vibe with it. But it was listening to their music like I constantly hear it constantly like just all these all these Wayne State students from the Detroit area. They they playing you know, Doughboys Cash out there. Team East Side. I'm thinking, like, man. So then, like, I hear people back from home. They starting to do it too. Then, uh, R. P. Joe Marino. He was one of the ones who kind of set the set the trend for the Muskegon rappers to want to do their thing too. So it's like I kind of being over there in Detroit, hearing them rap, thinking like, damn, looking up to these Muskegon artists that we got over here. So it's like, damn. So it kind of it kind of mixed together like that. So like I I'm over here and I hearing all this music and I'm. I hear back at home, like I fuck with back at home, even my, uh, that's what I, they said, they setting the trend, so it's like, I think I can do this too, I've been rapping, I've been freestyling at, at the lunch table, so I mean, it, it can't be none if I actually sit down and write something and come up with a, a structure, so I know, I know I'll be cold, that's, that's what really made me want to do it, just being in Detroit and having some influence around town. Yeah, I say, I say Gucci, man. Uh, Lil Wayne, um, and then today, I say today, I, I listen to a, a little bit of, uh, well, a lot of bit like Money Bag and uh, Money Bag Yo, and um, who else? Probably uh, a lot of up. I like, I like, I like a lot of upcoming rappers. I like, I like, I like to see people building that that foundation from the ground up and really just seeing they they step by step format on how they actually got to where they at on the big stage. So like I really like a lot of independent rappers, uh, as far as like the labels while like QC, I like I like how they did that thing, uh, you know, with Migos and Lil Baby and all like that. So I left my bitch at home but I'm with his home. Right, we ain't gonna count high school when we rapping high school at the lunch table. We ain't gonna count that. Uh started rapping about what was that about twenty 11, but that was, we still weren't serious about it. We was, we was just fucking around on the, on the voice memo on the phone, sending out to all our friends. We rapping, sending out to all our friends. And everybody like, I like that, send me this, send me this. I'm thinking like, all right, so let's make another, let's write another one. So we, we got it, we, we, I'm talking about, we literally sitting down on the, like on the, on the Android phones, rapping in the phones, open the speakers playing on the background at home. We got the speaker by the phone, we rapping. And you know we send it out to all our friends, and it's like they tweeted like, yeah, y'all heard such y'all heard me, you know? So we're like, all right, bet. So that was back in like 2011, but like we still weren't even serious then, though. Like I really didn't get serious until like my last year in school, so 2014. So I'm like, I'm about to be done with school now. I have a little bit more free time. I can really like get in the groove, really doing music. So I was like, fuck it. I'm like, let's go. Let's see what we can do. So it's like 2014. So you. About four years now, about four years seriously. You know? I really like the beat. Like if the beat catch, if I if I hit the beat off rip, if it's if it's real catchy, and I, I can feel like I can write some, or I can come up with a with like a hook or a saying within like the first few seconds of the, like first 20, 30 seconds or first probably about five seconds of the song, I'm like shit, this that one. But like far as like writing wise, it's like I really just, I, I really listen to a lot of other, like I listen to my favorite musicians. I listen to like a lot of my favorite type of songs, uh, favorite artists, and it's like, I just like just catch a, catch a certain tempo, certain melody, you know, certain vibe off of that. And it's like, all right, but now I, I, I actually freestyle off a lot of beats. And as I'm freestyling, I'm like, all right, bet, let me, I right, hurry up and get my phone out. I right, jot some shit down. Like I right, jot some, it's like, you know, t taking mental notes. It's like, boom, 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 boom. So like, 
I probably got like over a thousand, probably like a thousand, over probably about two thousand notes in my phone, just on just on some shit like, like it's probably like three words, probably like one line, like all right, orange or some shit like this, like fuck, all right, best. So like let's talk. So I was talking about orange, just like I say something that wrong with orange, or, like something wrong, like boom, all right. So once I come over with something, it's like this is what I'm about to talk about. So I got like over a thousand topics in my phone that I want to talk about. So really, I just, I really just. Nailed it down to the topics, like you know what I what I done jotted down. So I I break that down into uh, situations. So it, that's how I want to do it. So it's like I don't know. Sometimes it take me about anywhere from like probably ten minutes to write a song to like ten days, really about ten to ten minutes to ten days. Just depending on how I'm feeling at the time. In these past four years, um, four five, in these past four five years, I didn't did. I know I didn't did over ten for sure. I don't know exact number. I don't know exact number right now, but I know I didn't did over ten for a fact. Um, for as upcoming shows, uh, I'm still I'm still working on that. Uh, at the moment, right now, like me and my team, we still trying to build up my fan base. Right now, just trying to lock in some, lock in some areas, lock in some regions where uh, these these people coming, you know, like we are getting a nice little traction from. Them. So it's like once we get that traction, once we get, you know, we get stable in one area, we 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 break out in one area, we get a buzz going in another area. So we gonna we we go it off, we we go with it off of that. See what the analytics looking like, see what the stats looking like, and see who. Rocking with us the most. That's what we gonna. Uh, that's what we gonna attack once we once we do all that. I mean, we still working on it right now, but um, we should have some. We should have some shit coming up uh, by the end of the year. No, I ain't gonna say we gonna do a show next month or two months, but I say for sure by by towards the end of the year, most definitely uh, start of the new year. I'm my mama's son. I'm a go getter. Yeah. I treat the broke hoes like the broke video. I really like uh, it was real simple. It was real simple video. No I matter of fact, I got two videos that I that I really fuck with. Uh, one of them was that we ball, and then the second one was no lie. I like we ball because I actually um I actually wrote that down. I actually wrote I had a structure for that one. I had a I had a, like a real life treatment for that one. It was a we ball. It was where uh, two dudes they they betting on the game. And it's like the the hood go, fuck them other niggas. We ball, fuck, we ball, fuck, we ball. And it's like we bought fuck and we ball came from uh, Curtis Snow in Atlanta. It was off uh, Snow in the Bluff. He was saying fuck and we ball. He based on like fuck them. We you like basically like finessing and shit like that. So uh, the the concept was two dudes betting on the game. One dude lost the bet up by like five ten thousand dollars and. He kind of ran off on on the dude who he owed, so he like fuck him, we ball. So he, that was that was like that. So I really wrote that. Now we had like a whole a whole plan. We did like a scene scenes at Buffalo Wild Wings, uh, scenes at uh, the AMC and uh, Grand Rapids at the movie theater and uh, on the Blue Bridge. So it was like we had a whole little plot. I, I really that's why I said I'm really proud of them because I, I had took some time out to really put that one together. I mean by myself too. So and I had like some uh. Some actors and you know some help with them as far as like my team members, so I'm proud of that one. And I like no lies because it was re it's real simple. But I don't know I somebody um Jacksonville had hit me up and they they was trying to like book a show for they were trying to book a show off of that video and they made me look at that they made me look at that video like and it was like man you just you looked so confident like I, it's like you looked at, like you was in Hollywood or somebody he's like I know you're not in Hollywood but like the I mean shout out to Chilla Patilla too on the on the visual because I guess that was his you know that was his work that was his vision um as far as like whatever you know lenses and shit that he using but dude was saying how he liked it how, how everything just looked and he was like I had my own style looked at like the background just looked at like I was somewhere where people wanted to be in. and really I was I was right in the hood I was in the, I was right in the neighborhoods like probably like two blocks over from my house so I like how we made that made it play out like that so that's why I'm most proud of that one too I think you should check out No Lies. I think you should check out No Lies. That's just a, that was one of the first like when I changed my name from Neat Gotti to Neat Got It. Like now I'm, I'm officially Neat Got It as a uh, 2016. 
Excuse me. Uh, but I think you should check. That was like one of the first songs under my new name that I was like, that I actually broke out my, like my new style of rap. So I think like that was like, and it was an intro on my, on my debut uh, project on my new name. So it was like, that was, a, it was like, this, this the new, you feel me? This the new, this my new, this the new me. And it's just like, but I, I don't know, I, like, I really love that song though. I just really, it's just, it just catch me. I don't know. I, I listen to the beat. And I I was just like, I'm just gonna put some I just like I really just like threw some threw some shit together like um some freestyle type shit. I, I was really freestyling and just putting it together like freestyle. And it's like, damn, it's kinda actually making sense though. As I'm freestyling, you know you freestyle, you're just saying a whole lot of other shit. Just, but I'm saying I'm like, damn, I am really feeling like so I actually have to memorize the words in my head. I had I had like memorized like probably down to like eight to twelve bars, like what I say. I had to hurry up and go write it down so I didn't so I didn't forget it. But it's like I think that one because that was like the like I said that was like the introduction to the new me. I got another project dropping called Only Child. It's called Only Child. I ain't gonna put no set date on it because we're not gonna rush it like we, didn't, we like we didn't did our previous projects. But um, it's called Only Child. I'm, I'm that's that's like the main one that we're working on right now. It's gonna be fully produced. Uh, fully. Produced by John, uh, aka Honey Benz. He, uh, we got it. That's our. That's gonna be our collab thing. I'm probably gonna do a series like Only Child One, Only Child Two. That's gonna be like a series where uh, only John produced like fully only ch only childs and uh, no features too. That's like Only Child, aka by myself, no features. So that's gonna be all me and all John. So that's what I'm currently working on for our projects. I mean, I might put put together like some some freestyles or some some covers or some you know some uh what's that shit called uh samples and shit like that. But far as far as official, we're gonna do uh we working on only child right now. No no set of no set date. Um, I really fuck with um. I really fuck with Future. I really fuck with like Far. Mm. Yeah, I fuck with like Future and Moneybag. Future and Moneybag. I really, I don't know this day. Their styles is it, kind of, it's kind of like different. I really like. I don't know. There, I don't know. Moneybag. He, he, he got a lot of bars. He might, he remind me of myself. As far as the bars go, as far as like just saying a lot of slick shit and a lot of bars. And like future just give me future made he get me turned up on a lot of on a lot of shit. So it's like them them like the two like two main two main artists who I really like I really like vibe with the most when I'm like just chilling by myself and I, or, or I want to turn up either or one of those. Two. As far as local artists, uh, I mean I, I listen to a lot of I listen to a lot of local shit. I listen to um. I listen to L I M T I and Polo. Uh, I listen to Mooley. I listen to uh, Co. Sleeves. And um, them like like if I had a, if I had a five around if I had a top five around in our area like you know I put you know those what was that four I just say four people Co. Sleeves. Yeah, I, I said those for I said I put those four in the five right there. Them like them like my favorite ones locally wise. So them I listen to a lot of those, a lot of them. Build the fan base first and foremost. Like you want to make a lot of music, of course, but build the fan base. Cause it's like it's like I said when I first started, I really didn't know what I was getting into. It was like you know a lot of people. Like, oh yeah, bro, you you cold, you gonna make it, you gotta like, but it's like you will be you will listen to it, you will listen to it at first, like, yeah, maybe I am cold like that. You know, that I guess that's just the that's just the confidence breaker, right? That's just the you know the confidence like that to open you up out your shell, like, oh I really can do this shit. But like once you start listening, once you start thinking about like, you listen to your shit, go back and listen to something, you'll drop a new track and be like, damn, this this sound a thousand times better than the shit that they was telling me that I could have made it off for. You thinking like this shit trash. So you be like, like, no, I, I can't make it off of this shit, right? So you like, I can make it off of this, and you make some else, and it sound better than this. But 
So like you would get to like just like leveling yourself up and you would get to like comparing shit. So it's like you really wanna just like know what you're getting into. You really wanna make quality music. You wanna you wanna build up your catalog so that you can drop for those those people that's that's really following you. But like I said, first and foremost, I say build up a fan base because like I if I could start all over again, that'd be the first thing I would that'd be the first thing I'd do. I mean I I dropped a lot of music to start off with. But uh, I didn't really focus on I didn't really focus on the fan base when I first started. Like I'm like it's crazy. Like I'm, I'm four years in, and I really didn't I really didn't think a fan base was that important until I was in my second and a half or third year. So it's like damn, now I really got to like, and now not now that I'm getting better, and now that I'm really learning more about the music game, it's like let me get this fan base real quick. I mean, you know, it ain't never too late, but you, you know, you want to get on it as soon as you can so they can grow with you. Oh yeah, CMC Entertainment. This CMC actually started off with in 11th grade, uh, back in 2007 it was, so we about over 10 years now. Uh, it started off as like Cash Money Crew, then over time, we think of like, that's too close to Cash Money Records and, you know, Birdman and them shit like that. So we like, we, we kind of like uh, wiggled around and was like, we're going to call it Combo Cash. So like, it made more sense. Uh, but like, after a while, like, once we got, once I got into rapping and once we started doing music, we started, we made it CMC Entertainment. It's actually LLC, too. Uh, shout out to Duke. He, uh, he kind of put that whole thing together for his, um, Making it a, an establishment uh, with you know entertainment, music, uh, everything else that's up on our belt, and it's 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 really like music, and it's me, and it's like uh, production. We got a we got a we got a, another artist that'll be uh that'll be with the crew uh, soon, and we actually gonna do some legal work on that so that they can really actually like sign with us too. So we uh you know, we signing producers, signing artists, so we. We are uh, basically on the next level to really being uh, a label. That's the that's that's what we on right now. I mean, cause right now it's like I'm the I'm like the big face of the of the organization right now, as far as like music wise, and like actually like the face of the brand. But we actually about to get a couple more people up under the belt so that we can um, we can build and expand a little bit. Favorite movie Friday. <laughs> Friday, my favorite movie. I just watched. I just watched it like, well, I just watched it last week, and I just watched next Friday like three nights ago. <laughs> Gucci man, favorite food, chick. I mean, I really do it for the people that surround me. I mean, cause I, a lot of my people, they, they really like. I ain't gonna say they complain, but. They don't. They don't want to work their real jobs. So they don't. I mean, don't nobody want to work their real job because it's a lot of shit that they don't want to do. You know, getting up at six o'clock in the morning when you don't really want to or have to, but you know you got to make ends meet. So you got to just do what you got to do at the time. But I know for a fact that the people that's around me, they do not want to work no real job. They want to do what they want to do. So I want to go extra hard for the squad. I want to go extra hard for. People who I love, who who love me genuinely, people that's who support me genuinely. I wanna do this for them so I can be that, you know, that helping hands for them so that they don't have to do that shit no more. So I really do this for the people that surround me. I mean, believe it or not, like I said, it's only me that's doing this, like, you know, within my camp or within my crew, but I'm always like it this it don't say need God, it say CMC entertainment. That's my squad, that's my team, that's that's what I stand by. So it's that's my motivation. I mean, you know, I got I got a daughter, so I want to. I don't really. I don't want her to grow up having to work for you no know, somebody else who she ain't have, who she don't have to work for. So, and if and if she do, I don't feel like I did enough. So, that's my motivation right there. And my other motivation is when hmm, the lack of support. That's that's my other motivation too. It's like. You know, a lot of people want people to support them and shit like that, but I don't really, I don't trip about it, but don't get me wrong, my, my ears still to the street, though, you feel me, like, it's as people, you know, we human, we we still listen to other shit, like, we kind of, we block out a lot of shit, but on the other hand, we still, we still, like, aware of what's going on or what's being said. I mean, that's my motivation right there, like, you know, they have a, a list of, like, 
artists around town. Like, because me, personally, I think, like, see, if you're going to mention anybody in this city, Muskegon, period, you got to mention me as far as anything. I don't, I don't care what it is because I'm working daily. And you feel me? I, I ain't going to, I ain't out here like, oh, yeah, you see me, I'm working, working. Like, no, nah, you know, I, my work just so forth. So I, I do everything. I, you know, I play how I go. I do what I do what I'm supposed to do. You know, I got people that, there's a lot of people that support me silently because they they didn't know that I was gonna really I was gonna keep working and 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 exceed their expectations for you know so it's like I do it for the the lack the, the lack of support I do it for that that's my, that's my motivation right there for real though so if they say if people sleeping on you it's your job to wake them up so that's me right there I don't really trip about it I just I just keep on going because you ain't got no choice. But to open your eyes, you ain't got no choice, but you can't sleep forever. You gotta wake up. I wanna have, uh, my goal right now is to be at a thousand YouTube subscribers before the end of the year. I wanna build up my artist uh, fan page on Facebook to a thousand followers, likes on that page. I wanna have at least 500 loyal fans going into 2019. I mean, and I don't know how I can filter that out, but um, I guess I'll see when the numbers, as far as the numbers and certain, I'm looking at my analytics on iTunes, Spotify, and shit like that. We'll, we'll see at the end of the year, but I really want to have a, at least at least a loyal 500 fans and, um, and, and get at least, and go into 2019 have a uh, at least a month a month book full of shows, at least one month at least one. I'm be dropping a lot. I'm be dropping a lot of music, dropping a lot of vi videos, uh, getting the visuals out there from uh, previous projects. Cause I, uh, only thing I'm really lacking on, I feel myself is the visuals and uh, I got content, but I it's it's a certain kind of content that I want. I want videos and. Uh, I probably, I Nigga, that's a cold ass team. Hey, you be the shoe now, I just direct. Nigga, that's a cold ass scene. Hey, say they be sleeping on Neek. Yeah, they must have some cold ass lean. Hey, it was about the time I had to take over. Drop the shit, yeah, the weight over.